Welcome viewers, and welcome to the TV Box Stop channel. Today we feature the colorful Sunvel T95K Pro, and Logic S912 Octa-Core Android 6.04K TV Box. After this short introduction, I'll do an unboxing and some benchmarks to see how well it performs. So stay tuned, I'll be right back after this. Get ready for Christmas, they say seeing is believing, and there is no better gift than a TV box for movies and entertainment, than from the best seller of TV boxes and accessories. Go to GearBest.com for all the Christmas deals and giveaways, or see the link in the description area for more information. Welcome back, and here we have the Sunvel T95K Pro. It's a great gift for people who prefer a different look, or for people who like things with lots of color. In the box, we have the box itself. You have an infrared remote control. You get one HDMI cable. You have a power adapter. And the user manual. If you are concerned about whether this TV box could work in your country, all TV boxes sold from GearBest comes packaged with the correct power adapter to suit your region. Also, all of their TV boxes come in various languages to suit any country or region. To the back of the box, I see we have one HDMI port, one of two USB 2.0 ports, you have the RJ45 Ethernet port, you have one audio video port, one optical audio port, and on the right there's the power adapter jack. On this side you have another USB port, an SD card slot. There is nothing on the other side. To the front, you have an LED clock display, and a multicolor LED light that changes when the power is on. The housing is made of plastic, and it comes in an assorted color design. I'll now pause this video for a second to connect this box to my TV, and when we return I will be running some system and benchmarking applications to see how well it performs. So sit tight, I'll be back. So we're back, and as we start up the T95K Pro, it's the usual startup animation that Sunvel always uses. It is a quick start, and this is the launcher you are presented with. Here you have a navigation bar for easy navigation. These buttons are your volume controls. These are your home and back buttons. This one here is the cascade button for switching between apps. This one is a screen capture button, and this button hides the bar. Above the navigation bar, here you have a shortcuts bar for access to your favorite apps. To add or remove any app from the bar, simply click this add button, and then select or unselect any app in the list you wish to add to the bar. Once you have made your selection, return to the launcher, and the shortcuts will be updated. Also on the launcher, you have a memory cleanup button for one-click memory optimization. Let's go to the apps section. Here we have a list of all the apps that comes pre-installed on the box. I see we have app installer for side loading APK files, which can be loaded from external devices such as SD cards or external hard drives. Other apps include Kodi, Kodi Update, Movie Player, Netflix, Google Play Store, Skype, System Update, Twitter, and YouTube. I'll now install some system and benchmark in apps, and when we return we'll do the benchmarks to see how it scores. So I'm back, and I've installed all the apps needed. First, I'll check if this box is rooted, and to do this I'm running the app called Root Check. As you can see it says that the T95K Pro is rooted, running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It's important that your box is rooted, because with root access, you have the freedom to download and install any app without restrictions. This is also important, in case you intend to use screencasting apps for playing games or controlling your TV box from a smartphone or tablet, as most of these screencasting apps require root access. As we are on the topic of root access, let's see if the one-click system updates works. 
it says that the box is up to date. The next app I am running is a system information app called Ada64. It's an in-depth system and hardware information app, and if we look under the system section, we see that it is manufactured by Mlogic, and the model is the T95K Pro. Below here it shows the total installed RAM as 2GB, and the available memory. Also, you have the total internal storage. That is what is left after the Android installation from the 16GB it started with. You can expand your internal storage using an SD card or an external hard drive. This is called convertible storage. A new feature under Android Marshmallow. Next, under the CPU section, it shows that the CPU is an Octa-Core Cortex-A53 CPU, which is the M-Logic S912, on a 64-bit system. The CPU runs up to 1.5 GHz, and not 2.0 as the CPU is capable of. This limitation could be a precaution to prevent overheating, a problem that can be solved by installing cooling fans and heat sinks. Under the display section, you have the screen resolution. The GPU is the Tricore Mali T820, running up to 750 MHz, and it has a refresh rate of 60 Hz. Under the network section, it shows I am connected to my 5.8 Wi-Fi band, and below here it shows signal strength, link speed, and the frequency. Under the Android section, it shows the operating system to be Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, and it also shows that the box is rooted. Under the thermal section, it shows that the T95K Pro has an operating temperature of around 50 to 65 degrees Celsius, and this can increase depending on what you're running on the box, like play and games etc. Under the codex section, here it shows a list of the various decoders installed on the box. In this list, it shows that the box comes with H.263, 264, and VP90 coding. There is no H.265 in this list. That's all for ADA64. Next I will do some memory speed tests with the A1 SD Bench app. This app carries out a test on your RAM copy speed, your internal memory read and write speed, and your SD card read and write speed. The results show that the T95K Pro has a RAM speed around 3,354 megabits per seconds. This is lower than the Beelink GT1 at around 3,500, and higher than the Zidio X9S which scored around 32. The internal memory on SD card read speeds is up to 53 megabits per seconds, and write speeds is between 36 to 37 megabits per seconds. I will now perform a Wi-Fi speed test to see how fast the 5.8 band performs. I am in the same room and I'm running a dual band router on a 30 megabits internet connection. And it shows that when connected to my 5.8 band, there is no loss in the download and upload speed. This can change depending on your distance from the router or how much interference there is in the building from things like aluminum shielding that builders sometimes install on your walls and roofs. I will now run the Antuta Benchmark app. The Antuta Benchmark is a comprehensive benchmarking application that runs a series of tests on your Android device. These tests comprise of 3D graphics, off-screen rendering, image processing blur, 3D physics simulation, and image processing fisheye. It carries out a test on memory performance, and CPU multi-threading and multitasking capability. And it also performs a test on user experience performance. This test takes about 7 minutes, so I skip the testing parts to display the final results. In the end, the T95K Pro got an Antutu score of 40,813. Next is the Geekbench 4 benchmark. The Geekbench 4 application runs a series of tests on your CPU, and it times how long the processor takes to complete each task. The quicker the CPU takes to complete each one, the device in turn will get a higher score. In the end, the T95K Pro got a score of 441 single core, and 2060 multi core. For the final benchmark, I'm running the Ice Storm Extreme GPU benchmarking test. The Ice Storm Extreme 
is a comprehensive graphics rendering application that measures GPU performance. The first test measures GPU performance while processing lots of vertices. The other test measures performance while processing lots of pixels. And the third test which is the physics test measures CPU performance. In the end the T95K Pro got an Ice Storm Extreme score of 5846. And that's all for the benchmarks. Let's now open Kodi Media Center. Kodi loads quickly on this box. And if you go under System Information, here you can see the version of Kodi is 16.1. If we go to Videos, then to the Add-ons section, here we have a list of all the add-ons that comes with the box. It comes with a variety of movies, TV shows, sporting events, kids programming, and live TV for your entertainment. Kodi comes with built-in 4K decoders, so I'm going to run a couple of videos at various frames, and we'll see how the box handles it. First I'm going to run this Duck Pond video at 29.97 frames. The video starts with a little stutter, and then plays smoothly thereafter. Next I'm running this fireworks video at 50 frames. It too plays smoothly without any problems. I will now run this video at 60 frames. The video plays, but its audio is out of sync, and there's lots of pixelation. Let's now try it in the Android Movie Player app. And as you can see the results are the same, so the T95K Pro has some issues when it comes to playing 4K videos at 60 frames. That's it for the benchmarks. And for my final test, I always like to play a game. This time is the game called Terminator Genesis Guardian. For those wondering what I am using to play this game, I am using my rooted Android tablet, and a screen mirror app. The game ran without any issues. And there are many more Android games that you can play on this device. So in summing up this review, I would like to point out that the Sunvel T95K Pro is similar to many of the Sunvel boxes that I've reviewed, and it has the same problems that the other boxes had, like trouble playing 4K videos at 60 frames. The CPU is restricted to prevent overheating, the box needs a restart to restore the navigation bar, and it comes with an infrared remote control. On the good side, it runs Kodi without any issues. It plays games without freezing up, the box is rooted, and the one-click updates are working, and not to mention its colorful design. So I've come to the end of my presentation. This was the Sunvel T95K Pro, 
M Logic S9 12 octa core Android 6.0 4K TV box. If you are interested in this box, a link was placed in the description area for more information. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video if you found it informative. Share it with your friends. And subscribe to this channel for more TV box top videos.